A local defense attorney disagrees with resentencing a Berrien County teen convicted of murdering his step-grandfather to life without parole. Dakota Eliason is currently serving a life sentence for the 2010 shooting death of Jesse Miles. A change in law is allowing Eliason to be resentenced. WSBT's Denise Bone is the live desk with more on this tonight. Denise, the prosecutor is recommending Eliason get the same sentence, though. That's right, Jen. Dakota Eliason was just 14 when he killed his step-grandfather while he was sleeping in the living room couch in his Benton, uh, Buchanan Township home. The U.S. Supreme Court, though, struck down automatic no-parole sentences for teens convicted of murder. So that means a judge can choose to change Eliason's sentencing. Under new guidelines, he could be sentenced to between 25 and 60 years. Now, the Barron County Prosecutor's Office says, though, because of factors in this case, the prosecutor's still recommending Eliason spend the rest of his life in prison. Eliason admitted to the murder but gave no motive for it four years ago. The prosecutor's making the same recomm recommendation in a Benton Harbor case where a 17-year-old killed someone with a wrench during a robbery. Now, Eliason's former trial attorney believes Eliason can be rehabilitated and should be given a second chance. I'm very disappointed that the Berrien County Prosecutor's Office is not following the guidelines uh, laid out by the Michigan Supreme Court that say children should not be sentenced to die in prison. Um, and that's what life without parole really is. We asked Berrien County Prosecutor Mike Sefik to tell us more about why he's pushing for life without parole in both of these cases. And in a statement, he said, quote, it is my opinion that the defendants in both of these cases are individuals who see no value in another's life and desperately kill to satisfy their own needs at the time. Now, Dakota Eliason is expected to be resentenced sometime this fall. An exact date has not been set yet. And it's not known yet if the judge in his original case will also decide his new sentence. Reporting from the live desk, Denise Bone, WSBT Channel 22 News. Well, new at